And my team's all like, why are you up there in the mountain, man? I'm looking for things, okay? That's what I do. I explore. I find things. Hello, everyone! PG's here with another episode of Let's Play! And this week we are playing Dragon Age Inquisition. I've been uh, trying to get some time aside to actually, like, play the game more fully so I can do a how's it play. But I just have been so caught up with all their games and traveling and carrying on that I just uh, have not had time for it. Ooh, tier one rare, rare material. So I was like, okay, well maybe then I'll just get past the intro. But then I realized that I can't really get past the, the, the little intro here is taking me a little bit. So I was like, you know what? I gotta start playing. So here I am playing Dragon Age Inquisition. I love this sliding down. Everything about this game is so beautiful. Like the fact that you just slide down in such a way is just so cool. And also, this is also a good game to play because I was really feeling like play an event I can't get up there can't get up there no I was like I feel like playing like an adventure game and explore and I was looking through and I was like oh there's quite a few I could I guess do but I realize there's not a lot of games where you just explore the closest I would say oh yeah shake it off shake it off man yeah the closest I would say would have to be probably uh survival games really when it comes right down to it, they seem to be the most, um, they seem to be the most common for exploring because you got to explore, find things. But at the same time, you're just looking for like basic loot in those games. It's not like there's anything super legendary, awesome, or amazing. Where in this game, you actually get quite a few I've, I've discovered. And uh, I, th I thought that was pretty cool. Oh no, there's one attacking us from the hills. Oh, are you there? So I just got to the point where you're allowed to control your group. And uh, to be honest, I haven't really figured it. Let's see, if I press T, there we go. Now I can go into this and I can shift between things. So a lesser shade, a greater shade, a wraith up there, and then that one. So let's send my little dwarf. You thou! Attack that one. And then the other mage. And this is actually a game that I decided to go with a mage. Because if I remember correctly, back in the day, when I was playing, um, when I was playing with my, uh, playing the other game, the original Dragon Age there, I realized that being a mage really required a lot of work. And I like, tried playing it on a higher difficulty, and I just had to stop. Because my mages were pretty much useless. They'd like AoE and blow away your entire team. And you're just like, well, shoot. Now what do we do? And they're just toast. And so you have to either be really great at micromanaging or you just play them yourself. So that was the case with this one. I just played it myself. And I've actually wandered already over there. So I need to go back that way. So I decided that that's what I would do. Plus I've been like feeling this urge where I just feel like nuking things. Well, that's, that's what I want to do. I just want to, like, wipe out every... I want to, like, control super powerful magic and wipe out things, do intensively huge damage from distance. But to be honest, most games are going to this, like, real-time combat thing, which is fine. But you just, like, you don't get the same feel of impact after, like, your instant casting. You're like, oh, look at me. I'm casting all these fire spells. <laughs> and you just cast them instantly where, like, back in the day... MMOs, man. Wizards, they thrived on the, like, the, the slow casting. You're like, okay, this kind of sucks at a slow casting, but at the same time, you're when it hits, it's going to do some crazy damage. I haven't been able to get that sense, that sense of power in too many games recently. It's just like it hasn't been there. And my team's all like, why are you up there in the mountain, man? I'm looking for things, okay? It's what I do. I explore. I find things. And I've actually found some pretty decent treasures wander off the path. They put a lot of stuff into this beginning zone, which is pretty cool. Anyways, I get sidetracked. And, um... So I was like, okay, so what, what game can... 
what game, you know, like, I, and I still haven't really found one. This game, they got some cool impacts, but once again, it's all real time. It's like, you throw one off. Now, I haven't gotten very far in the game. I'm still actually, in fact, I am, um, oh, no, no, get away from me. In fact, I'm actually, let's see, what do I have here? Lesser shade, lesser. Do I have anything else? No, no. Got another guy back there. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I'm still in the intro. So, I don't know if this game does get better for that, for example. And it very well could. Um, but I just I just don't know. So, I'm trying to figure that out. And uh, I'm, like, running away. Why are you always so mean to me? So, I'm still kind of, like, looking for that game. And, like, the old MMOs, they're just, like, the, the graphics are just not quite there anymore like they used to be. And it's, like, you want to see something cool and impactful. And I just, I haven't seen that yet. So, it's something that I will, uh, I'll have to figure out. Let's see. Close. How do I do this? There we go. The Herald can use the mark to close the rift. Once all the demons that have spawned are dead. All right. Leveled up. This is actually the first time I've seen it. Yay. Yeah, your character is leveled up. Increase your health and stats automatically and award you one ability point to use. Press P to open character record to see the ability screen. In fact, I will. Oh wow, look at this. I don't think I've actually been in this. Spirit, Storm, Inferno, and Winter. I am a big fan of cold spells, so I'm going to go with that if I can. What's Spirit? Oh, so they actually like a summoning. That's cool, I guess, right? I think so. Storm, eh, it's alright. I want, I want ice. Alright, so this is my, this is my intro. Each ability contains active abilities, upgrades, passive abilities. I also have diamond-shaped icons. Okay, so those are active abilities. They can be mapped to your hotbar and use in combat. Upgrades are attached to ability to make it strong. Passive abilities have circular icons. Must be that. Our permanent booster character there. Always active. Cool. When you have a little unclear ability, oh, alright, cool. Okay, I get it. I get it. All right. I'll mess things up on my own. So, Winter's Grasp. You lock a target at Sheet of Ice, freezing in place. Oh, cool. That seems useful. All right. So, let's get this. Let's grab... What's this? Winter Stillness. Oh, that's cool, too. Oh, they have some neat... They have some neat... What are they... I'm curious. I'm going to look... Bet you guys are like, oh, geez, but this is a let's play, so I can do this. Ha 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 ha. There's no learning here. Anyways. Ah, I see a peaceful or guardian spirit protective barrier. Speaks of place automatically when you're badly injured. That's cool. That's actually a really nice, just passive ability to have. Mind Blast Dispel. Okay. Revival. Ah, so this is definitely more of the healing line for sure. Okay. That's cool. Healing. Obviously, lightning. Um, let's see what they have. Chain lightning, energy barrage, lightning bolt, stormbringer. What's stormbringer? Storm comes to your aid, and without you calling it, you're in combat. Lightning will periodically strike a random nearby enemy for 300% damage. Nice. Seems like a cool. Let's see what inferno spells are like. Flash fire, emulate, flashpoint. Does this have a casting area of effect? Casting cooldown time. No, no casting. But it's got a cooldown. So I guess that'll maybe enhance the fact that it's a powerful ability. I don't know. We'll see. I want this one, though. What's tactics? Oh, okay. These are ones that I've... Ones I've got. Okay. Let's see. I'm so weak. It's because you're new. Oh, there's the behaviors. I was kind of wondering where the AI situation was. I think, like, their AI program, it, it looks like it's roughly about the same. I kind of like that. Um, it's, it's helpful and it's like not too complex where you lose yourself in like programming AI and stuff, but it's pretty cool though. All right. So let's see here. I want winter's grasp and then, uh, let's see here. Your barrier exposes wild magic when enemies destroy it. The blast frees all nearby enemies allows you to cast your next spell without consuming mana. That's pretty helpful, but I really like this fade step and I could use something to get me out of trouble. So, we're going to just go ahead. Ah, Blizzard. I'm going to go ahead and get this Fade Step as well. 
And then we're going to take this, drag and drop it. Wow, this is really quite nice to use. It's just like that. That's all there's. Okay, fine. So I click on here and then here. No. Oh, I took away the point. Maybe I have to apply. Oh, okay, maybe apply. There we go. Ah, uh, they're automatically assigned to an empty hotkey. Okay, so I was on the right track, but then I was a little slow with it. Now, let's see. Let's use that three. One, two, three, four, attack. I want to actually start off with this one. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then we'll chain lightning them, and then we'll burn them, and then we'll use four to get away. That'll work. That will work. And then I think that's it. I don't think anybody else is leveled up. But I could just click up here. No, no, no. What are all the double daggers, archery, sabotage, subterfuge? Actually, I'm curious what all the different paths are, so that's nice. Weapon and shield, two-handed weapon, battle master. Oh, that's cool. And then vanguard. Oh, so that's actually kind of like the... T well, that's weird. What's the... These stalwart warriors protect their allies by making themselves the biggest target on the battlefield. When enemies take the bait, vanguards pick them apart with brutal precision. But then what about extra Cyrus in the feet after punish or kill their user shield protect? I'm, I'm curious. What's the what's the difference then? War cry, challenge, charging bull. Okay. Okay, so it's definitely a lot of defensive stuff, but this guy seems like it's just as uh, bear mauls the wolves. No, not the wolves! Not the wolves! Can't be flanked. Looks like we sighted one hit from the front. Okay, so... One looks like it's more for just survivability, and the other one is more for actually tanking. Okay. I get it now. So that's, that's all of them. So you got mage, rogue, and warrior. And that's pretty much it. And I don't think I really am too concerned about... Ah, uh, maybe I'll make this guy my healer. I don't know. We'll see. I just got here. By the way, there might be notable um, spoilers. Just saying. I don't know what's going to come. Fine. You know what? You want to talk to me, buddy? Hey. You have something to say? You have something to say? No? Yeah, that's what I thought. Like how you casually walked away. What? All you people here and you got... Man, I swear... Refill potions. That's actually cool. So you just refill potions. That's cool. So far, I'm really liking this game. Loot. Is this like all or up? There's a morning star. Eh, whatever. Hey, you, lady. Sorry. 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 There's nothing to worry about. Let's see. Morning star is warrior only. So where is my uh, Cassandra? Yeah, there we go. 64, so it's way more powerful. Does it actually have? Eh, I don't know. I'm curious if there's like a difference. But you now are a proud owner of a Morning Star. Please enjoy. And hopefully you won't run away where I can't do anything. Oh no. What's this guy want? Yes. Yes, we did. Oh. Boy, her shield needs some cleaning up, I'd say. Thing's a little brutal. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, a glorified clerk. Take that. I have no clue what's going on. I probably should be paying attention, because the point of this game is sort of for the plot. Okay. All right. So, no one's in charge here? What about the breach? Oh, this guy slightly approves so us. Oh, it was my fault. Whoops. Sorry, guys. I'd be a little intimidated by that. I'd just be like, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Oh no! The entire squad! Oh, big breach. Uh oh. Don't get any ideas, buddy. 
Hmm. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, you're asking me for my opinion? I didn't mean for that to be mean. I was just like, whoa, hey. Let's see. Careful to say, our soldiers will stand with you to ensure arrival. Scouts in the past may be lost. Ooh, fast but indirect. Soldiers will act as a distraction elsewhere. The problem will be addressed sooner, but there may be casualties. Oh, so this must be one of the first starts of you becoming a king, ultimately. And you kind of get to make these crazy choices. Uh, I don't, I'm, I didn't pay attention, but you know what, taking the mountain path sounds like a good idea. Okay. Everyone. Except for this guy. Uh oh, go slap him. No, you're too noble for that. That's good. It's so pretty. Look at all the beautiful mountains and that thing. I don't know what that is. Oh, creepy wind noises. You never know what's going on with creepy wind noises. That means something is about to happen. And we're here. We have made it to the ridge, the top here. Wow. And there's the breach. If it's over there, then why are we... Do we have... I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. But let's climb this ladder. Let's get to the top. And then I think after that, we're going to let you guys go. Enjoy your evening. And I'm probably going to see about maybe playing some more of this. We'll see. Okay. An old mining complex. Indeed they are. I wonder what they are. I wonder if they're spirits or if they're something else. Ah! Oh. Can't go any farther. No. And then... What is that? Greater shade. Oh, I get to use my new spell. Ah, frozen. Oh, that sort of worked. Why are you just standing there? Uh, I could probably tell you to do something, but I'm not going to. Greater shade, man. That is a cool ability to escape with. I like it. Okay. So there's still shades then that we're fighting. Well then, before I go up the creepy stairs, I think that'll be it. So I'm curious about you guys. Uh, you know, I, I was mentioning the, the casting thing earlier. I'm wondering if you guys have any good games in mind that actually give you that kind of sense of a lot of power with spell casting that you could pass on to me. And uh, yeah, next week I should be back with some more creative verse. I'm thinking I got to put some pieces together here and kind of make it to something. I've been having fun with that, but it takes a little bit of work to do and balancing that schedule between kids and family and all that is what it is. But anyhow, thank you all for joining me this evening and I wish you all a wonderful, glorious evening. Good night.